time for Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. When it comes to news on 95.1 FM, weather always comes first. Severe thunderstorms are expected to produce several tornadoes, significantly large hail, and damaging winds across most of Texas towards the lower Mississippi Valley and across the Gulf states. Heavy to excessive rainfall may lead to flash, urban, small stream, and minor to moderate river flooding. Closer to home, quiet weather for the remainder of the week into the weekend. Temperatures are going to remain warm to above normal from tomorrow and beyond. The winds are going to be generally light through tomorrow, but become breezy to windy on Friday through Monday. We'll have another look at the weather following this news. Due to an unintentional notification oversight, all new business items were removed from last night's City Commission meeting. So not a lot to discuss, but the mayor did have this to say. The rules for our meetings, um, I'm just going to read this real quick. Um, Commissioner meetings will generally follow Robert's rules of order. That's pretty standard for most meetings. Um, It does say the mayor will preside over all meetings. I think we know that. Uh, Commission members desiring to speak shall gain recognition by the presiding officer. And I will apologize now because there are seven of us here. So if I don't see you, if you could just gently say mayor, and then I'll call on you to speak. And that way we can maintain some order. Um, Questions of the staff shall be directed accordingly and staff may respond as needed or until the presiding officer withdraws recognition. Um, And generally... um, we don't really have an issue with that, but it, I I think that I think that um, yeah I just I don't think we have too much of an issue with that, but we can direct uh, questions to the city manager and then and then um, take it from there. A commission a commission member who has the floor may not be interrupted unless called to order by the presiding officer and. Um, a couple of things that I want to add, if I, if I call for a motion and somebody makes a motion, please wait until I call for a second before you uh, make a second. Um, if, if, if I haven't called for the second and I hear a second, honestly, I'm probably just going to ignore it and call for the second because that's the way that it should be done. Um, and I think it just, again, shows some um, order um, for our commission instead of chaos. So, um, and then our goal, of course, is to conduct an effective meeting and to be respectful of our varied opinions. Um, And I think we're really good about that. Um, The presiding officer will also make clear the public's rules for addressing the commission as needed. And that has to do, of course, with public comment. Um, These rules do apply um, in public meetings as well as executive session. And I'd like to really try to focus on on adhering to that um, last meeting there was some confusion obviously we had some technical issues and some other things going on and it was incredibly distracting and uh, nothing personal but I do hope it doesn't happen again um, or at least not on that level uh, but it was incredibly distracting and so from now on if we could just try to adhere to these rules I would really appreciate it you can see the meeting in full on the city's YouTube channel the Tularosa FAA wins the state championship in milk quality. Team members include Dallas Hudson, Rosemary Gallegos, Robert Trujillo, and Johnny Chavis. Top five individuals were Dallas Hudson in third, Rosemary Gallegos in fifth, and Robert Trujillo in sixth. Landscape design wins third place overall. Team members include Bridget Glenn, Demetrius Armijo Vigil, Billy Hillebrand, and Cameron Feliciano. Food Science wins fourth place overall. Team members include Aubrey Lindsay, Rosemary Gallegos, Dallas Hudson, and Bridget Glenn. Top individual, Dallas Hudson, who placed fourth. The Alamogordo White Sands Regional Airport is having an open house coming up. I spoke with Luke. So the airport open house will be Saturday, April 13th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. The EAA Ford Trimotor Tour is bringing their 1929 Ford Trimotor plane, and you can book your flight on flytheford.org. The open house itself is free to attend. Check out the City of Alamogordo Facebook page for details.
The Oliver Lee Memorial State Park is currently fixing up the house, but that doesn't mean you can't still visit. We spoke with Kate German. We have the Oliver Lee Ranch House on site. We've got a really cool historic area, and it's undergoing renovation. So the inside of the house is closed, but we've had so many people asking that while we're in between phases of the renovations, we're doing guided tours where you at least get to walk around the house and learn about all of the history. Those tours are happening every Saturday at 10 a.m. The Oliver Lee Memorial State Park is at 409 Dog Canyon Road, 505-660-7381 for more information. The Republican Party of Otero County presents the Taxpayers Ball, that's spelled B-A-W-L. Vice Chair Josh Beasley had this to say. We have a huge event coming up on April 13th. We're calling it the Taxpayers Ball, as in crying ball. And we are going to have a guest speaker, former advisor, senior advisor to President Trump. Tana Gortz is going to be our keynote speaker, and we're going to have a chili cook-off. Bring in your best chili, and whoever's voted the best chili, they get a great prize. And uh, we're going to do a cake auction as well. Whoever's cake goes for the highest price, they're going to get a prize as well. we got some great prizes lined up. It's going to be a great event. It's going to be April 13th starting at 4 p.m. at the Elks Lodge. For more information, check out the Republican Party of Otero County Facebook page. The Alamogordo Public School System is preparing for the preschool roundup on April 24th. We had a word with Donna Dupree. So we are rounding up kids for uh, next year, for the school year, because we need to fill all our slots for uh, our four-year-old program for next year. What do parents need to know about the program? So it's free. And, but there is limited slots because we're funded through a grant. And so the sooner they get in and get their spot, the more of a chance they'll get to uh, be able to have their child attend next year. Details are available by calling 575-812-5525. Love, Inc. is offering free tax filing. The BETA Tax Preparation Program, that's the Volunteer Income Tax program and um, we are in full force with that. We've had people coming every week. That's on Fridays from 10 to 2 at our offices at 1106 Ohio. Susan Payne speaking with Crazy Radio. If you are in need of help preparing your taxes, just know that this is a free service including e-file, and we also do state taxes for free as well. For more information, call 575-439-4812. Kitty City will be at the mall this Saturday along with Animal Control. Come to the White Sands Mall Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Kitty City and Alamogordo Animal Control will have both cats and dogs available for adoption. Kathy Denton from Kitty City. The Kitty City, New Mexico Facebook page has details. The website has profiles of available cats. Animal Village NM continues to provide dog and cat food for families in need. Thanks to our donors, we were able to provide more than 700 pounds of cat and dog food to these food banks. Sonny Eris speaking with Crazy Radio. In Alamogordo, contact Love, Inc., 1106 Ohio Street, next to Lowe's Market. In Ruidoso, contact Lincoln County Food Bank, 138 Service Road, first times and days of operation. More information is available by visiting AnimalVillageNM.com. This is Lieutenant William Skeggs with Alamogordo Fire Department. With grass fire season fast approaching, we would like to remind the citizens of Alamogordo that open burning is only permitted with the proper authorization from Alamogordo Fire Department. If you would like to conduct any kind of open burning within your property in the city of Alamogordo, you must first receive proper authorization through a burn permit with Alamogordo Fire Department. You can apply for a burn permit at 619 Texas Avenue, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. News from around the state in just a moment. This is Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. Local news from local perspectives from local voices. AlamogordoTownNews.com. Local sports, local events, and local happenings and more. Owned and operated by Second Life Media. We are Otero County. AlamogordoTownNews.com. Heard daily on Crazy KALH Radio 95.1. Direct Free Plus is the right size book. It's the book if you need a full book. That's what just one person has to say about Directory Plus. With its red cover, features, colorful yellow pages, and lots more, it's no wonder people all over use Directory Plus. It has so much more information. You can cross-check phone numbers or addresses or pretty much anything. Look on the plus side. Directory Plus. I'm a big fan of Directory Plus. As we discussed last week, 31-year-old Andres Garcia 
the Gallup firefighter, is facing charges of downloading child pornography. Well, it turns out he did so while at work. The McKinley County Sheriff's Office confirmed that only authorized employees can use the fire department's Wi-Fi. Garcia is facing charges of child sexual abuse material, including exploitation of children under the age of 13. A hearing has not yet been scheduled. Jeff Irving, the man accused of driving drunk through an August 4, 2022 parade route in Gallup, will not be going to jail. More than a dozen people, including two police officers, were hurt when Irving allegedly drove through the Gallup Intertribal Ceremonial Parade. Irving was facing multiple charges, including aggravated driving while intoxicated, and the sentencing was initially for five years of supervised probation. But Irving's legal team has confirmed he received a suspended sentence. Irving is expected to enter and complete a recovery program. A dozen people struck by a vehicle, he gets a slap on the wrist. The U.S. Border Patrol in Sunland Park hosted an event which aimed to show the risks illegal migrants face when they attempt to cross into the U.S., stating that the border is filled with a myriad of hazards, including extreme temperatures, rough terrain, dangerous canals, and ruthless criminals, bringing the possibility of multiple injuries and death to illegal migrants. In fiscal year 2024, the El Paso sector has seen more than 308 illegal migrant rescues and 34 illegal migrant deaths, most of which have occurred in the Santa Teresa desert. A police investigation prompted Pecos Elementary School in Roswell to be placed on lockdown. That incident occurred yesterday morning. Roswell police responded after a male passenger allegedly pointed a firearm at a teacher outside the school. Now, no gunshots were fired and the vehicle sped off shortly thereafter. Students were just beginning to arrive for classes when that incident took place. The school was able to hold in-person classes following the lockdown. Roswell police are still investigating the incident, along with the Chavez County Sheriff's Office and the New Mexico State Police. At last check, no one is in custody. We spoke yesterday about the roof at Explorer Academy in Albuquerque collapsing. Turns out the gym had an inspection on March 6th conducted by the City of Albuquerque's planning department. In their report, officials found a dipping of the truss, a wood frame member or steel frame member. Yet the school says the city permitted work to continue. Work did not officially stop until March 25th. That's when the truss dipped further. It finally collapsed on Sunday. The city permitted it to continue? What would have happened if the school had opened and there were children inside that gymnasium? Sports and weather are next. This is Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. They are role models and educators. Their work requires a great deal of time and energy for very little pay. Who are these unsung heroes? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. The simple truth about education-based athletics in New Mexico is this. Without a committed team of coaches and administrators, they just wouldn't be possible. School sports, they bring out the best in all of us. This message presented by the New Mexico Activities Association and the New Mexico Athletic Directors Association. There are six games for Mexico softball today, including Mesilla Valley Christian at Capitan. Twelve games for Mexico baseball, nothing locally. Your crazy radio spot on weather forecast for the Tularosa Basin today calls for sunny and warm. Clear and mild tonight, sunny and warmer tomorrow. Your high today in the Basin, 71. Low tonight of 45. High tomorrow, 77 degrees. In Cloudcroft, sunny with winds gusting as high as 24 miles per hour. Mostly clear tonight, winds gusting as high as 22. Sunny tomorrow, winds gusting as high as 21. Your high today in Cloudcroft, 49. Low tonight of 31. High tomorrow, 54 degrees. Local breaking news can be found on our website, alamogordotownnews.com, and learn more about Crazy Radio by visiting KALHradio.org. Also, check out the Crazy KALH Radio YouTube channel. That's where we post our daily newscasts, complete interviews, and other information which concerns everyone in the Tularosa Basin. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already. That way you too can remain informed of the goings-on in the Tularosa Basin. That concludes today's edition of Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero.